What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the difference between a data analyst and a business analyst. I think this one is a really good one to look at because honestly, sometimes there isn't much difference at some companies between a business analyst and a data analyst. And when people are trying to become a data analyst, I even recommend them sometimes applying to become a business analyst as well. So this is gonna be a really good one to take a look at and really understand the differences between these two jobs. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump on my screen and take a look. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna take a look at is the responsibilities of a data analyst and a business analyst. Now let's get started with the data analyst. The data analyst is going to clean and analyze static data. They're gonna perform statistical and exploratory analysis, create reports and visualizations, and work directly with stakeholders to make data-driven decisions. A business analyst is going to manage projects and stakeholders. They're gonna translate business needs into specific actionable requirements to the team. And then they're also gonna perform ad hoc analysis for clients. Ad hoc analysis is just a one-off kind of one-time thing. A client wants something to be analyzed really quickly and you go and do it for them. Now, both these positions may work directly with stakeholders and clients, but honestly, the business analyst tends to work a lot more with them. Especially if a business analyst and a data analyst are working on the same team, the business analyst is usually the more client-facing analyst. A data analyst tends to do more technical work, so they're using a lot more databases, creating reports and visualizations, whereas a business analyst tends to not do as much of that. A business analyst's main focus is making sure that the team understands the requirements from the client, and they can also translate some of that because they should have some technical knowledge so they can say, okay, here's what the client wants and here's how we can do it. Next, let's take a look at the technical skills needed to be a data analyst and a business analyst. For a data analyst, you're gonna look at SQL, maybe a programming language like R and Python, and some specific packages and libraries that you might want to know are things like Pandas, Polars, NumPy, and Matplotlib. You're also gonna need a data visualization tool like Power BI or Tableau. You'll of course need Excel, and you might need a cloud platform as well, like AWS or Azure. And then lastly, you might need some type of statistical tool like SAS or SPSS. As a business analyst, you'll notice that this is a little bit shorter. They definitely need to know SQL, Excel, and maybe Tableau and Power BI. But beyond that, they don't do a lot of coding typically. So in general, a data analyst tends to be more technical than a business analyst. Now next, we're gonna take a look at the education. The education is actually fairly similar, and I'm gonna pull both of these up. Now, for both of these roles, you can have a bachelor's or a master's degree, it just depends on the role, but the actual degrees that you get might be different. So for a data analyst, some of the common degrees that you might get are things like statistics, mathematics, economics, computer science, business analytics, and information systems. And yes, you read that right. You could get a business analyst degree and become a data analyst. And for a business analyst, some common degrees are business administration, finance, economics, and business analytics. So just more business focused degrees for an actual business analyst. Now let's take a look at the job titles for a data analyst and a business analyst. Let's start out with the data analyst. For the data analyst, you can see job titles like data analyst, quantitative analyst, technical analyst, and then domain specific analysts like a healthcare or a marketing or a financial analyst. For a business analyst, you might see job titles like a business analyst, a business process analyst, a functional analyst, and then you might see ones like a product owner or a project manager. Now those are kind of reaches for those last two and that's why I kind of put maybe because it depends on the company, but I have seen business analysts be more like a project manager or a product owner. Lastly, let's take a look at the pay between these two. For a data analyst, at the entry level, you look at 50 to 75,000, at the mid level, 70 to 90,000, and at the senior level, 80 to 120,000. For a business analyst, you're looking at anywhere from 45 to 65,000 for an entry level, at the mid level, anywhere from 60 to 80, and then at the senior level, 80 to 110,000. Now, of course, these are just averages. It definitely depends on where you live, uh, what education you have, experience, and all those other things. But in general, these tend to be pretty accurate. Now, you'll notice that the data analyst makes a little bit more than a business analyst on average, but I have seen it where a business analyst does make more than the data analyst. It really just depends on the company. So that is the difference between a business analyst and a data analyst. I've worked with a lot of business analysts. I work with a lot of data analysts. They are both great jobs. If you're looking for any unsolicited advice, if you wanna be a little bit more technical, you might be going towards the data analyst path. But if you like more of the client side, if you like more of the business side of analytics, you might be looking at a business analyst. Again, both are really great jobs. They both pay really well. So with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.